subject AVS 1. In this video, we are going to do the revision of lesson number 1, 2, 3. During this revision, we will categorize the question into different part. In part 1, we are going to learn answer the question in brief. So let's start. Question number 1. What are the basic need of living things? Here you have to write the answer for this question in complete sentences. How to write the answer? Food, clothes, shelter, water and air are the basic needs of living thing. Got it? This way with the full stop with the punctuation mark you have to write the answer. Now we will move to the next question. 2. What changes take place inside the chrysalis of the plain tiger butterfly? Now in this answer you have to write the changes that takes place inside the body of the butterfly. Right? And now we'll see the answer. Inside the chrysalis, important changes take place in its body. What are these changes? Number one, its legs grow longer. Number Second point, it gets attractive wings. Third point, the growth all the parts of butterfly is completed in this stage only. Understood? Now the third question. Which are the four stages of the life cycle of a butterfly? Now here you have to write the four stages. Got it? Now what is the answer for this question? The answer is egg, larva, pupa and adult are the four stages of butterfly. So these four stages of the butterfly is fixed in all kinds of butterfly. Got it? Now we'll move to the next question. Now the next question is what do we breathe out during respiration? Here you have to understand what is a respiration. Respiration means uh, air take in and gives out. That is called respiration. Understood? Now in this question you have to write what air you are breathing out. Okay. Now we will see the answer. We breathe out carbon dioxide during respiration. Understood? So while breathing out we are gives out carbon dioxide and when we are take in that what we are taking in oxygen right but your question is what do we breathe out during respiration so we breathe out carbon dioxide during respiration this is the right answer the next question is what does plant take in during photosynthesis here Respiration of plant is called photosynthesis. Understood? Human beings are doing respiration whereas plants are doing photosynthesis. Understood? Now during this period what plants take in? See it's very interesting question. What is the answer? Plant take in carbon dioxide during photosynthesis understood means human beings gives out carbon dioxide and same carbon dioxide is take in by the plants this is the natural phenomena understood so what does plant take in during photosynthesis answer is plant take in carbon dioxide during photosynthesis right
Now next question is where from we get food? Now to keep ourselves alive, we need food. And that food where from we get? What is the answer? We get food from plants only. Yes, we get food from plants only. I will ask is how it is possible some people are eating non veg that that is not a plant yes students that also the for example suppose a, a person is eating a chicken right and what does the chicken eat chicken eats food, food grains or grass and that food grains get from plant and grass is itself is a plant plant so Directly or indirectly, all the living things are depend on plants only. So, the answer is we get food from plants only. Understood now? now we'll... Next question is, what are arboreal animals? Animals that live on trees are called arboreal animals. For example, monkey. Squirrel are the arboreal animals. Many other example also you can give. Squirrel so means the animals which live on tree. That is called arboreal animals. Understood. The next question is name the three season in India. Now this three seasons. Everybody know what are the three seasons. Answer is summer, winter and rainy. Or other name for any is monsoon are the three seasons in India. Again I am repeating summer, winter and rainy or monsoon are the three seasons in India. Yes. Is it easy answer? Yes. What is the next question? What are the different traditional methods of storing water? Hmm, we have learned this. In lesson number 3, traditional method of storing water. What is the answer? Traditional method of water storage are well, water tank, in forts, draw wells, river and burns, old reservoirs, old tanks. These are the traditional method of water storage. Traditional method of water storage means old method of water storage. Yes, this is the answer of question number 9. Now we will move to the last question. That is the 10th question. Where from water come in well and draw well? Mm, find out. Remember, where from this water come? I have explained you where from this water comes. Yes, do you know this nowadays rainy season is going on and this rain water uh, seep into the ground, deep into the ground and this underground water collected in well and draw well. Yes, and how we get by digging well and draw wells, we get this collected seep rain water. Understood? So again I am repeating, where from water come in well and draw well? Answer, rain water seeps into the ground and that water collect in well and draw well. Isn't it interesting? Yes, this is the answer. Now, below I have given the worksheet in that worksheet. Same question I will not ask, but these questions all are based on the previous lessons that you have to study and then you have to answer that questions. Okay, by the time. Bye.